Hey, we're here with the Rambler Review, and we're just here to talk about the ski team. Now we're here with Matt and Daniela Bell, and their daughter Michaela has been on the ski team. And we've had a couple other ski team members in the past year, but it seems like they were exchange students. Uh, tell us a little bit about the ski team. Yeah, so uh, we ski for the Onekama team. Uh, I believe it's made up of eight different schools. Uh, Manistee, Manistee Catholic, Onekama, Bear Lake, uh, McBain, Wellston, Irons, Kelva, I believe. So there, there's a lot of, lot of schools involved. Um, typically, we had the first two years, I think we had almost 20 exchange students uh, on the team. Uh, but with the whole COVID thing, uh, we don't have any this year. We had one from Italy, uh, but she went home yesterday. Oh no. Yeah, so, uh, so we are in need of a few more girls. We have plenty of boys on the team, although we will take some more boys. Um, we have right now, I think we have four girls on the, on the team. So so um, we're basically looking for, this is a recruitment video to say, hey, exactly. if you're out there and not doing anything this winter, hey, check out the ski team. Michaela's had a lot of fun on it and has done very well. Tell us what uh, events there are. Tell us about practice time and, and things like um, that. High school races, we have the giant slalom and the slalom races. Uh, slalom race, uh, the way I describe it is that's what Michaela Schifrin does. It's the one with the, with the gates that are close and she knocks them over with her hands. Uh, the giant slalom, the gates are further apart. We go a lot faster. That's what Lindsey Vaughn does. Um, it's a lot faster race. Um, as far as practice, we practice every night from 4.30 till about 6.30 or 7 o'clock. Uh, it is not mandatory that you're at practice. If you have homework, uh, band concert, anything like that, that is the first priority over ski practice. Um, I believe we have five or six conference races scheduled this year, and then we have the regional meet and then the state meet. We don't have any invitationals uh, this year. If a kid wants to join the team, what should they do? Should they get in contact with you? Yeah, is, they can. Sean Molder. Yeah, they can get in contact with me. Uh, they can get in contact with me through Sean, uh, through Sean Molder. Um, we have a lot of equipment that, that can be used. Okay. Uh, transportation, I go every day uh, to practice. So you could carpool if you we don't can, have we a We can ride. carpool if necessary. Um, I'm Ski Mom, so I'm another yeah. another vehicle. We go to, uh, to we actually go to Colorado. <laughs> Some of the teams go in Colorado the first week of December. When we come back, hopefully we'll start practice. Uh, races start, I believe, the first week of June, run through the first week of February, and then that's when regionals start, and then uh, state meets usually at the end of February. So and most of the nice. races, I believe, are weekday, right? They're Wednesdays. Yeah, we usually Wednesday we nights. Typically, don't oh, okay. have a weekend. Yeah. Okay, so they could still work on the weekend and still be a part of the t ski team. Yeah. So you said June as the first. You met January, is that right? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. January. Yeah. Okay. Michaela would January. like to ski in June. Yeah. But yes. January. And that's where Colorado can come in on yeah. that. So get a hold of Matt or Daniela Bell if you're interested in joining the ski team. It's been a lot of fun. Talk about Michaela's successes in the last couple of years. How has she done? Yeah, she's done great. One of the things I wanted to impress upon you tonight is the Onekama ski team is fun. So there are some leagues out there that are pretty heavy duty into we want to win. Um, Coach Kurt makes it really fun. He doesn't feel that the sport should be all in it to win it. So the cool thing about our conference where we're at at Crystal, there's three small teams. The kids all get to know each other. Michaela's made great friends in Benzie, Glen Lake. Even throughout the year, they're Snapchatting each other. And, and so the one thing I wanted to say is, if you um, have never skied before, Matt and Coach Kurt will take you from not knowing how to put your boots on to actually being a contender in the race. I have watched these guys take me who I'm ambivalent to get on the hill and actually the kids have raced and actually been content contenders at the end of the nice. season. Michaela just loves racing and she would love to have any of her teammates be McBain students. Right, right. She is Share not, yeah, she's awesome. Um, when we had Nike on the team, um, she just loved it. She loved having someone else ride with her from McBain yeah. to the hill and practice together. So this is a little hop, skip, and a jump to get out to Crystal Mountain. Yeah. A little bit, a yeah. yeah. little it's, bit, but uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, we make her fifty-two miles. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we make them do their homework in the car. Okay, good. To and from, 
Um, this year is going to be a little different. We don't have lockers to change in at Crystal. So we're going to be changing in the back of the truck and we'll have a pop up time in the parking lot and you'll get the real feel for a Northern Michigan winner. Yes, that is awesome. So um, not every school has a ski team. So there's different divisions, aren't there? Like, do you ski against Cadillac, which is a bigger school or? We, we do. So typical, a typical ski year, uh, we will have five or six conference races. Um, and then we'll have three or four invitational races. A uh, big one that we go to is the Cadillac Invite, and that's at Cabaret Fay. Uh, get a, uh, we go against a lot of bigger schools there. Benzie does an invite. Um, at where, Crystal. At Crystal, where we'll get into some bigger schools, Gaylord, uh, a lot of Traverse City schools. They have one up at Nubs Knob um, that we go to too. So uh, typically there's one or at least one or two races a, a week, typically. Um, on a normal, then, yeah, this year's going to be a little different, yeah. but uh, you can take it as far as you want, as far as how serious you want to, if you really want to pursue it, if you want to go to learn how to ski and have fun and do that kind of thing. Um, some kids take it really far, like Michaela does, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's, it, it's a lot of fun and it's, and it's a great experience. Michaela has had a lot of success in the past, um, but she uh, she really likes, likes to uh, kind of take new kids under her wing and kind of show them the ropes nice. and, and that type of thing. So, nice. And so, keep in mind, she didn't race the first year she was in it. She actually just came to the ski team. This was obviously she when was she five. was younger. But um, <laughs> she just tried it out for the first year and, you know, kind of practiced with the team before she actually raced. So I'm just going to throw that out at you guys, too. If you guys are thinking about it, you're a freshman or a sophomore, you got a couple more years to go, and you want to come out and just give it a go, Hop in with us, we'll take you out there, you can give it a go on some practice nights, see if it's something you're interested in. Maybe just hang out as a manager on the team this year and race next year, so. Awesome. So something to think about, if you're interested in getting into some outdoor sports, give Matt or Daniela a, a text or call. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you can reach uh, their number through Sean Mulder, so just reach out to Sean and he'll set you up through them. Thank you very much for doing Thank this. You. Appreciate it.